Good afternoon and welcome to the ACC Student News. The news students can use. I'm Cody Reinsma. And I'm Diana Ortiz and here are this week's stories. The United States announced charges on Wednesday against two Russian intelligence officers and two hackers who were accused of a mega data breach at Yahoo that affected at least half a billion user accounts. The hack targeted the email accounts of Russian and U.S. officials, Russian journalists, and employees of financial services and other businesses. Officials said one of the defendants has been taken into custody in Canada and another is on the list of the FBI's most wanted cyber criminals. Yahoo! CEO Marissa Mayer publicly thanked U.S. authorities Wednesday, saying she was very grateful to the FBI and DOJ. The all-time largest outdoor supercenter, Gander Mountain, is closing 32 stores, including the center in Hobart at the South Lake Mall. After 23 years of successful business, Gander Mountain has declared bankruptcy. In 2014, the store spent $1 million to renovate. However, since then, the store has not been able to keep up. The store lately, though, has been underperforming. They have been looking at several buyers to take the store and hope to close the deal by May 15th. If you want to get some last-minute shopping in there, be sure to swing by before that time. IUN volleyball coach Emilio Torres was charged on Tuesday, March 14th for sexual battery on alleg allegations of touching a 17-year-old girl inappropriately and kissing her. The inappropriate event took place at Indiana University Northwest. According to the victim, she said Torres was playfully fighting with her in a stairwell at the college gym and then smacked her butt and kissed her on the mouth. Torres was hired March of 2016, he has been a previous coach at Thor and Fractual South and also Bishop Knoll Institute in Hammond. The largest outdoor supercenter, Gander Mountain, is closing 32 stores, including the center in Hobart at South Lake Mall. After 23 years of successful business, Gander Mountain has declared bankruptcy. In 2014, the store spent $1 million to renovate. However, since then, the store has not been able to keep up. Lately, though, it has been underperforming. They have been looking at several buyers to take the store and hope to close a deal by May 15th. If you want to get some last minute shopping in there, be sure to swing by before that time. Do you Yahoo! Well, watch out. The U.S. has announced charges against two Russian security service officers and two hackers, accusing them of a mega data breach at Yahoo. The Russian spies wanted secrets. The hackers were motivated by money. Yahoo has stated that they believed it was the victim of a state-sponsored attack. Will this be a problem with our alliance with Russia due to the fact that this is our first criminal case against Russia? Well, the two orchestrated one of the largest thefts of consumer data in history, taking user information from more than 500 million Yahoo accounts, including those of diplomats, journalists, Russian officials, and politicians critical of the Kremlin. After disclosing this hack last year, Yahoo revealed an event larger data breach that is said to be separate. These two incidents led to Verizon Communications, which agreed to buy Yahoo's core internet business, to cut $350 million off the purchase price. It is now set to pay $4.5 billion. And that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Diana Ortiz. And I'm Cody Ryan. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at ACCTVHammond. See you next week.